Welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Nicole and today I'm doing a bentonite clay treatment on my hair. But before we get into that, why don't you take a moment to subscribe and hit that notification bell. So these are the tools that you're going to need. A plastic bowl, plastic spoon, plastic spatula, the clay definitely, bentonite clay, some apple cider vinegar and you're good to go. Now, honestly, I am not the measuring kind of person. I just wing it with the bentonite clay, making sure though to put enough for my natural hair. Then I go in with the apple cider vinegar, but this time making sure to not put too much and for it to not overpower. So after adding the two together, all I do is just mix, 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 mix until I get the kind of thick consistency that I'm looking for. So these are some of the benefits of doing a bentonite clay treatment on your natural hair. In case you're wondering why I said you have to use a plastic bowl, a plastic spoon or a plastic spatula is because bentonite clay treatment attracts whatever it goes to and so the metals if you use a metal spoon a metal bowl it will attract all those things into your natural hair and plastic somehow somewhere prevents that from happening as you can see after mixing i got the consistency that i wanted and now it was time to put it on my hair at this point my hair was only detangled and not washed because this treatment also acts as a cleanser i decided to use it in substitute of my shampoo for today also, I know you can tell that I'm outside and it's a different background for today because bentonite clay is a little bit messy or a lot messy really. And I was not about to have that clay all over my room. So first things first, wet your hair. Wet your hair, drench it in water because bentonite clay can be really, really drying. When it comes to the application process, Apply it as you would apply any other product onto your natural hair, making sure that every single strand gets some of that goodness. As you can see, bentonite clay also really, really defines your curls. I mean, if I'm being honest, this has to be one of the biggest game changers when it comes to my natural hair journey and my natural hair styles. The moment I started using bentonite clay treatment, which was about two years ago, was the moment I started seeing a change in my natural hair. My curls were easily getting defined as opposed to how my previous styles used to be before I started using this. As you apply this treatment onto your natural hair, make sure your hair is super, super detangled. You do not want to try and detangle your hair with this clay because clay is hard, it's not smooth in any way, and it does not ease detangling. So when you see my fingers easily going through the hair, if you can see me easily rake the clay into my hair, I'm not trying to detangle, it's just that my hair is super detangled and easily allowing the clay to attach to each and every strand. After applying this treatment onto your natural hair, make sure to follow up with your deep conditioner because like I said, bentonite clay can be really, really drying and you don't want your hair to feel hard and dry after this, yet you've put in a lot of messy work at that into it if your hair is often dry and does not easily accept moisture or product bentonite clay treatment is the treatment for you it was my game changer in that area too lol not me getting it into my eye anyway i would recommend that you do this treatment at least every two weeks and at most every month if you are trying to let your hair get moisture or regain moisture in your natural hair with this treatment. You will thank me later. So after applying 
each strand of my hair with a bentonite clay i went ahead to just respray my hair with water just to prevent it from drying up already and then i went in with that extra clay onto my hair just you know to utilize everything Another thing I realized bentonite clay treatment does to your natural hair is elongate your curls, but not in a way that it is changing your curl pattern, which is really interesting. As you can see, my hair looks stretched and yet it is in, you know, a shrunken state, but it's super, super stretched. So this is how my hair looked after applying it onto my entire head. I left it in for about 15 to 30 minutes max. It felt really fresh and really soft at the same time and not dry at all actually. But I still went in with my deep conditioner because better safe than sorry. See how my curls still stay defined and cute. I just really really love this treatment. I hope that you'll try it out too on your natural hair and let me know how that goes. Anyway, thank you for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please give it a like comment share this video and subscribe and don't forget to put on those bell notifications thank you bye i'll be switching numbers yeah i did just another color switch it up they'd be flipping thumbs up yeah i know bumping like a roomba